It is cold and dark, and I'm surrounded by breaking waves in the middle of Bass Strait. My two friends and I are being pushed relentlessly by wind and current into the Tasman Sea. We are in small river kayaks, and the sea is far too rough to raft up, so we have to hold on to the cockpit of the adjacent boat, taking turns to be in the middle for the whole night. What are we doing here? So the Bass Strait is quite a unique body of water. You've got multiple currents converging. Um, in the one spot at the latitude that it's on. The nearest mass of land is South America. So you've got these huge distances for swells and winds to generate and push into this tiny strait. So the basic concept is, is be out of the water when this comes to town. I found out that a group of climbers had been there climbing in 1990. Some really good rock out there as well from, from their account. Big granite sea cliffs. If we can pull this off, we'll be the first ever kayak and climb across the Bass Strait. <laughs> Sweet! Today is the day! First thing that happens, one of you capsizes, send a flare up, I'll see it, I'm sick, I'll just windsurf out there and pick you guys up. Let's do it! You want to learn, read a bit, learn about meteorology? I'd love to! <laughs> and I guess this would be the part where I tell you some death-defying story about how we almost got stranded in the middle Man of the ocean. Nothing really went wrong. Go higher and then use the bush. Grass climbing, nah, go right. It'll still be gusting on 25 to 30. This is the story about the essence of adventure. Growl is big, fat <laughs> Look at Josh climbing up this blank wall. Story about how four people from around the world who barely knew each other came together and committed to kayaking across the ocean. It's about getting the next generation of explorers out there thinking outside the box and finding new ways to access these small corners of the world. Climbing, climbing is the, uh, the reason for the approach and the approach is the journey and the reason why you do it. I hope that makes sense. There's so much that we can learn from the lessons that came before. God, these spits of granite. Where she make you like this? <laughs> <laughs> responsibility to keep fighting for and taking care of this planet so that the next generation after us can stay wild. Well, my first reaction was one of, that's not very hardcore, why don't you just paddle to Antarctica? <laughs> Antarctica. That's next ride. I mean, surely this is just a warm-up for paddling to Antarctica.